Greetings, this is Earthman from earthmansoil.com. God bless you guys. I hope you're doing well this day. Hope your plants are doing well. And uh, let's talk about, once again, being an organic grower, growing organically. Um, it can be done. You can grow large, productive, healthy plants easily if you have living soil. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about why we need living soil and why it's so important. Over the years, my friends, I have had amazing results with living soil, and I wouldn't do it any other way. And if you're watching this video, guys, you know what I'm talking about. Huge, productive plants that are healthy and produce amazing results with food and medicine loaded with antioxidant and medicine for our body's nutritional value that there you're not going to get grown in chemicals and you're not going to get at your local supermarket living soil this is what we need in order to have these achievements in our garden and grow rooms living soil how is it done? One way to do it is through IMOs, indigenous microorganisms, which there are a lot of videos out there how to do this and how to put this in your soil. But today we're going to talk about plant growth promoting bacteria. My friends, plant roots, they don't have teeth. So there's no way for those plant roots to take in nutrients by chewing them up. It doesn't work that way. They need plant growth promoting bacteria and IMOs to make that food available in the soil for them. And that is what we're going to talk about today. There are a lot of different nutrients in the soil that are locked up. Our plants need so much in order to grow successfully. Some nutrients in large amounts and some nutrients in trace amounts. And that is how we get food to our plants through the microorganisms breaking down the nutrients. There are a lot of different nutrients and minerals that your plant needs. And in order for it to grow healthy and successfully, it needs every one of them. And your plant will let you know if you are not taking care of it properly by giving it all the different nutrients that it needs and the life in the soil that will make those nutrients available to them. And these microbes, they not only take nutrients that are locked in your soil unavailable to them, but they also secrete different type of enzymes and hormones that will boost your plant's immune system against insects and different pathogens that will attack it. So over the next few weeks, we will continue to talk about plant growth promoting rhizobacteria. And we're going to look at individual bacteria and what their function is in the soil and how they can play a part in your organic living soil so you guys can have amazing results just like Earthman. God bless you.